you guys. Today I'm going to do a quick video just uh, showing some of the hamster supplies and I figure I'd start with the cages and the stuff on the desk and then there will be a part two and possibly a part three. So this is my hamster supplies part one. Okay, because I haven't really got everything out yet. I haven't been downstairs. First is this little pet bed I got on Amazon. Um, just type it in the Amazon search bar and it should be available. These are Critter Trail tubes, and they can come in a kit. Quite nifty. Um, and they're very handy. And this is my Carefresh Complete Dwarf Hamster Kit Cage. It did come in a kit. And this water bottle and that water bottle are both the same. I got them at PetSmart for like $3.50. Um, it's kind of tiny, but it's enough for him. And this cage you are looking at is the Critter Trail 2. And it's actually... A really good cage and they are just connected for expansion for him for a little little tiny hamster I don't know if you can see him but this is what he likes to do and he's oh he's not enough <laughs> well hang on just a second. maybe I can find him for you no but where are you buddy Here he is. <laughs> he says, I am sleepy. Leave me alone. I don't know if you can see him down there. But when he wakes up, he always has one eye closed and one open. That's quite funny. And then when he wakes up, they both open up for me. Oh, uh, did I just show you a house? Yeah, hang on. I hate to when I do videos and I always interrupt. Um, I always have to put down my camera. I don't know. Nut. There you go. There you go. Um, well, he's right away now, so you can see him while I talk. This is just a cardboard tube. Um, you can make these yourself. They're very easy. And he's just grabbing a bite to eat. Um, this is a treat stick I got on Amazon. It's the Hearts Bonanza's treat stick. Um, and he quite enjoys them a lot. He loves them. Um, I'm going to demonstrate how much he loves those. Um, but he quite enjoys this hamster potty. I got this on Amazon for about $7.50. Um, it's the Super Pet Hamster Potty, and it comes with some sample litter. Um, and I'm going to show you more details on that in just a second. And this is one of his wheels, and this is the wheel that came with this cage. Um, this wheel works pretty great. It's um, one of his favorite wheels. Um, oops, sorry. But he also has a silent spinner and a flying saucer, which I'm just going to show you in a minute. I'm not going to show you the silent spinner in this video, but in the next one. He's just going up to the top part. I don't know if you can see, but it needs spot cleaned, which I need to do daily. Because this part gets lots of poops up there, so I, it needs cleaned fairly often. Next, I'm going to just show you some supplies over here. This is his um, Super Pet. It comes with the Super Pet hamster potty. It's just a little scooper. And this right here is just a cup where I keep um, scraps and I also carry them in this. This is just a spare spoon, a spare tube connector, and these are these Super Pet chewables. I've mentioned these in like two videos because he really likes them. You can hang them on the kebab on that little circle or you can just place them in the cage and that is what I do. And he chews on it a lot. It comes in the shape of a pretzel and I really like them. Comes in a pack of three for about three twenty, so that's not too bad. Actually, quite affordable. Some spare paper towels up here. Um, and let me just open this up. Oops, actually here, I'll show you this first. This is his flying saucer. Now I have a small one, um, but it was too small, so I had to order this. This is the medium flying saucer. Um, I've seen these in quite some videos, and lots of hamsters like them. It is, as you can hear silent. Um, I have never really seen him get on it, so I just replaced the other wheel, but it's pretty new. And the small one, I don't even use. But, I'm going to try it again this week. Um, and if he doesn't use it, I'll give him plenty of time in his exercise ball, or put that one back in. I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. This was about $10. So, not very cheap. So you need to save your money up for that. Uh -huh. 
let me open up this little container. Okay. And these are these little things. I'm going to show you the packaging for these in just a second. These came in a pack. Um, I don't know if they were Super Pet or where. I'm not really sure. You can hang them on the kebab. And they came in a pack of 12. So these are just some spare ones I have up here. I have some in my bin that I will show you later. They're quite cute, and he enjoys <laughs> nibbling on them. And actually, a supply I forgot to mention is his kebab hanging back in the back that he will chew on, and it has some chews on it that I got at um, PetSmart, actually. And so, and underneath that is his oatmeal that I mixed in with this food to give him um, extra nutrients, and it also helps prevent wet tail, so I was really excited when I heard that, so I use it a lot. And this is just something I keep on the desk. This is his hamster mix, and I believe I have shown this before. Oops, it's hard to open one-handed. Oops, there we go. Um, it's just a nice mixture with um, these little pellets that he really likes. And, um, oops, slipping from my hand, corn, uh, split, split peas, that little green speck right there, and this is the Carefresh Complete Dwarf Hamster and Gerbil Food Mix. It's about $8 for a big bag. This is about, eh, this whole container filled was the bag, so $8 for this container, um, being filled quite nice. Um, so I, I really like this food. I think it's, it don't have, um, the sunflower seeds, which I really, really like. I don't like him having sunflower seeds, as it can be an extra oil and fatty source. Yeah, and this is just a Ziploc container. These are super handy for, um, doing your hamster storage stuff, so I recommend it. It's just up there. Now I am going to actually show you the rest of the supplies that I have upstairs. Um, this is his Super Pet Chin Chiller. I've shown this in a video, and, um, and it's the video of some things I got at PetSmart. So watch that, and it shows this. Okay. Um, this is his Super Pet Potty Litter as a refill. They have a new box in this now. This is an old box. So, uh, the new box will be in part two, so just keep your eye out. Um, this is totally safe, and I so recommend it, and I change it once a week, and it doesn't make the potty smell or anything. And the things in the oatmeal were nibble rings, the Vitacraft nibble rings. My hamster loves these. And they are a crunchy treat, um, and it helps their teeth. He loves these. I got these at PetSmart for like $3. They were so, uh, in this bag has lasted for months. And what I liked about it... And it says feed your small pet four to eight nibble rings per day. But I recommend no more than um, two to four a day. Because um, too many treats just aren't good for your hamster. And what I liked was ingredients. At first it starts with ground corn instead of sugar. Since my hamster is a dwarf, I do not want high sugary content. So I was trying to find a treat that didn't really um, have so much sugar. Next is the yogurt drops. Um, I got these at PetSmart, too. Uh, the first ingredient on these is, uh, sugar. So, there's the sugar. So this is really high in sugar, and he hasn't had one in a couple weeks. I feed him very, very sparingly. Some more spare wood chews from that pack. And this is his little, uh, critter bath. It's ceramic, so that's nice. And I will show you the product that is used inside um, in part two. But that's all I have upstairs. Um, I have more stuff downstairs. Um, so, yeah, it's just got the dust over there. Um, do, do, do. Oh, let me get up. Okay. There's. There Oh, uh, bleh, duh. Um, in here. The bedding I use is Carefresh Complete, uh, not Carefresh Complete, it's just called Carefresh Ultra. I use Carefresh Ultra or Natural at all times because I find it to be the best bedding. 
and these little twig things that came in this uh, cage kit. He doesn't really like them that much, but they're in his cage just as an extra chew. Um, this thing don't close very well, but it's okay. Um, and that is it. I will show the packaging for that. And I think I might actually have it, so just hang on just a second. Um, hang on, I think I might have it. Oh, yeah, you do. Freaky pop. <laughs> uh, this is the Carefresh Ultra Package. I buy the big, big bag of it. Like, let me back up. It's a huge bag. It's the biggest bag I can find at my PetSmart, and I get it for about $20, $25. So it's actually rather expensive. Expensive too, and that bag don't last that long. Um, so yeah, let me just walk back to the cage. So you aren't looking at anything but the cage. Yeah, so that's it. If you have any comments or questions, um, make sure to write them on this video. Uh, that's what I would prefer for you to do. Um, so that'd be great. So you can also like the video, and you can also subscribe. That'd be great too. Uh, since I don't have any quite yet. I don't have subscribers quite yet. Oh, he's still asleep. Alrighty, well, thank you so much for watching, and I will make some more videos later. Bye!